Keisha Charmaine and I'm back and in this video I will be addressing a DM that I received. Now I already answered the young lady via DM but I told her that this was the topic I like to talk about on my channel and she gave me permission so I will be you know addressing her questions and concerns right now but um as you can see I just washed my hair right now it's sitting in microfiber towel and as I get into the subject I will be oiling my hair of course using my horse tail leaf growth oils and by the way they are replenished if you haven't checked my shop lately check now you'll see that they're back in stock so shop up because they sell out quickly hello I am a true fan of yours and I need some lock advice I have been on this lock journey for one year and four months and I'm in the process of cutting my locks. I just don't like my locks. They are not like I want them to be. Some are thinning and I'm confused. When I got to cut them, I just can't seem to do it. I just want them to look different. When I look at yours, I see beauty. When I look at mine, I see tears and unbeauty. What should I do? Thank you for reading this. And she sent me a photo I'm not going to show the photo, but just to let you guys know, remind you, she said that she's one year and four months locked, and in the photo here, her her locks are at the longest, in the back they're neck length, and in the front they're, you know, they like get shorter. It's like tapered almost, and she has a flip to the side. It actually looks really cute. To me, it just looks like they're not mature yet, and I understand that at a year and four months, a lot of people expect to already be locked. But that's not going to be the case for everyone. Everyone has a different rate of locking when it comes to their hair. And I like to tell people this. Um, sometimes people just tend to like, doubt the process. But remember, millions of people before you have gone through this. Millions of people have gone through a lock journey. And there's no predicting as to how long it's going to take for your locks to lock. So... I understand that it's a difficult process since you you don't like the way it looks right now that's very common a lot of people especially young women we don't like the way it looks in the beginning because it looks immature it looks messy it looks frizzy that's a part of the process and it kind of reminds me of life in general think about all of the things that you've gone through in your life that while you were in the thick of it you were like how am I gonna get through this I don't see myself getting through this and then you know what happened you got through it like oh my gosh that can be re related to like so many different areas like me uh, the other day um, my brother and I were talking about imposter syndrome and I told him yeah that's something I deal with all the time all the time and he was like really you you deal with imposter syndrome yes I do and it kind of bothers me when people I mean I get it people very often people see how I carry myself and I understand I carry myself with such grace and that's intentional and people think that that means things are going easy for me and that's not the case I deal with anxiety and I talk I talk about this on my channel often I feel like um and so that's why it kind of bothers me when people think oh Keisha got it all together I remember one time I was talking to my friend who I knew since I was a teenager and um, I was, this is my first time telling him about my, my dealings with anxiety and how sometimes I have to like really sit with myself and just pump myself up and give myself a lot of self-talk. Like I do that on a regular basis. Multiple times a day I have to like give myself a pep talk regardless of like what it is for. Maybe if I have to get, have to get work done and I just can't seem, my, I can't seem to get started or maybe I have to go to the gym and I just can't, but I just don't really want to. Or like maybe I'm just like overthinking about the future and it's just like debilitating. So I was telling him that I was I deal with that and he was just like, "What you deal with anxiety?" I'm like, "Yeah." He's like, "No way." I'm like, "What you think I'm just talking to hear myself talk? Like, what do you mean?" He said, "Oh well, you you just you just carry yourself like you got it all together." Um, and when he first told me that, I didn't know how to take it. I mean, I guess that's the good thing to an extent, but it also makes me feel like, am I not being authentic to others? Am I not coming across authentically? Like, I, that's not what I want. I don't want people to get the impression of me like I feel like I'm perfect because that's not the case at all, okay? Um, but to tie that back to the lock journey, like, there's so many things that you go through 
and you don't give up and I feel like that's very comparable to the hair journey like college for instance for instance a lot of you guys go to college college four-year degree is four years <laughs> A lot of you go to college for a lot longer than that to get, you know, your master's and, and all, law school, med school, PhDs. Like, you guys are in college for a long time. And that's an even longer process than it is for, for your hair to lock. Like, think about it like that. You know, you're not waiting for your hair to lock. You're living. And your locks will lock as you live. So, don't even put so much attention on your locks. And I feel like your hair will lock faster not literally but it will feel like your hair is locking faster when you when you don't put so much attention on it it's even difficult to begin a lock journey so i feel like when people start their locks it's because they had a strong desire to do so it's not it's not easy at all because it's it's a very very jarring it can be a very jarring transformation for some especially if you're it's maybe your first time going natural or if it's your first time with short hair or you know <clears throat> so yeah be gentle with yourself and if it's something that you truly desire then i believe that is meant for you i believe i don't believe that you know we would have the desires in our hearts if we weren't, you know, if we weren't meant to execute them or uh, um, receive them, if we weren't meant to go and get them, you know what I mean? I had a very, very, very strong desire to lock my hair. And I did so and I never looked back. It was something that I really wanted. Of course, I had my, my moments when I felt like, oh, I'm not that pretty with my hair like this and, you know it's awkward and I'm uncomfortable I don't really know how to style it I don't know how to present myself with it of course I had those moments but I got through it because I remembered what it is that I truly wanted and I think that's what we have to remember when we're in our lock journey it's like what remember what your goal is and I know I might be like extra right now but like I've been through so much I there were some times where I could have died I could have been killed I was in some unfortunate situations and circumstances and but God kept me God kept me and I felt like I feel like that wasn't a mistake I'm here to serve a higher purpose not that I necessarily know what that purpose is my point in bringing that up is to remind you that Sometimes, you know, we get, like I said, you know, we get anxious, we get our anxiety, or you have your insecurities or whatever it is, and you start to forget who you are. You start to forget who you are. And when you're in those moments, you have to try to be as self-aware as possible and remember, I'm forgetting myself. I am a queen. I am a goddess. God is within me and I am connected to all of you. I'm connected to nature, I'm connected to the universe and I have God's favor. And when we truly remember that, we won't have certain self-doubt. We won't have certain worries. And that's something that I have to remind myself on a daily basis. When I was 25, I got this tattoo on my forearm and it says you are enough and it's just a symbol for me to it's a symbol for me to keep up with my self-talk because that's what works for me so if you have to give yourself pep tops pep pep talks i recommend you do so it definitely helps me you are enough you are more than enough and when i remember that Certain things don't bother me anymore. And maybe I'm getting a little too deep, but I feel like you can relate this to a lock journey. After all, it's more than a hair journey. I didn't do that on purpose, I promise. But shout out to my first book, though. Let me wrap this up so I can finish oiling my hair. You are not alone. 
to the young lady who wrote this and to all of you who have immature locks baby locks if your locks don't look how they how you want them to look yet they're not mature you know you're not the first to go through this you won't be the last millions of us went through this and we got past it look at my old videos please please look at my my um what is it my one month my three month video I'm in the bathroom talking about, oh, I look like a little boy. <laughs> I got over that. <laughs> My hair grew. And you know, in the beginning, I can understand. You know, the first year or so, it's a new experience for you. So, like, you are going to be slightly obsessed. I understand. You are going to be slightly obsessed. But once you really get used to this is what your hair is doing right now, you'll 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 step back you'll step back and you'll put more attention in other areas of your life that actually need it because your hair doesn't really need that attention your hair is gonna lock regardless i may recommend washing and retwisting a certain amount of time to make sure it stays uniform but regardless your hair is going to lock that's what hair does that's that's how people out here free forming you know they're not twisting it they're not manipulating it and it still locks. Your hair's gonna lock. Be easy. Put your attention into something else that's going on in your life. I'm sure there's more important things going on in your life. More important for your own personal development, for your own, I don't know, maybe, maybe you're a creative, maybe an artist, go create. Maybe, Maybe you're an architect, go build something. <laughs> Maybe you're an electrician, go fix some outlets. I don't know, is that what electricians do? I think so, right? You get what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't want to sound like an asshole. Take this time to learn who you are. And honestly, it's inevitable. You're gonna learn who you are throughout a life journey. I talk about that in my book, More Than Hair Journey. And it's inevitable. Maybe you don't want to put all that focus on yourself and you don't want to build, you don't want to create. Okay, fine. Then help somebody else. Give. That's always rewarding. Okay, now I'm going to massage my hair more thoroughly. Remember, you can check out KeishaCharmaine.com for the... It's, it, my, my oil name is a mouthful, so sometimes I get, like, <laughs> tongue-tied saying the name. But it's the Horsetail Leaf Growth Oil, okay? Check out my, my shop to check out the Horsetail Leaf Growth Oil. Also, check out the Emu Oil Growth Drops, which are for, like, your hairline, thinning areas, ball spots. And this one is for like all over, overall, scalp and hair. So many different uses, by the way. Also, we have Infinity Head Wraps for sale. Tons of new designs. Check them out. And even more designs are coming later on in the summer. And if you want to check out my book, which I accidentally, shamelessly promoted, More Than a Hair Journey, The Black Woman's Guide to Self-Love and Lock Maintenance, it's on Amazon.com. Search Keisha Charmaine. And that's about it. This video was kind of impromptu, if you didn't know that already. You see, I'm not even wearing any makeup at all I'm fresh faced I don't come on here too often fresh faced thanks for watching love light and locks